Well, hello there, Virtual Quest Kids. We're celebrating this whole month here at Quest Kids, and the reason is simple. What are we celebrating? You're right, Christmas. This whole month, we're celebrating Jesus, God's greatest gift. We talked last week about the hope we can have because God kept his promise to send Jesus. Now, I don't know about you, but during this time of year, I have so much joy when I think about what Christmas Day will be like. I get super joyful when I think about celebrating with my family and friends. In fact, to help us count down to Christmas, we have our Advent calendar. Now, friends, ask your parents to check this week's parent prompt to download the Advent calendar. This Advent calendar will help us count down days to Christmas. Each time we meet here at Virtual Quest Kids, we will review the day we are on counting down to Christmas. On our Advent calendar today, it says to research, Google research with your parents, different Christmas traditions around the world. Now, for example, did you know that in China, a popular Christmas tradition is giving each other apples on Christmas Eve? They would wrap the apples in colorful paper, just like this, or put them in nice colorful bags on Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve in Chinese is called Pinyin Yang, which means peaceful or quiet evening, similar to our Christmas Carol Silent Night. These apples are actually a symbol of peace for the holiday season into the new year. Hmm. I think I might do this, but I might add a heartfelt message to these apples. Let us know what international traditions you and your family come up with. In fact, you can take pictures and tag us on our social media platform so we can see. Now let's sing and worship God together.
Hello everyone and welcome back. Today our story begins with a young woman named Mary. <laughs> now Mary was an ordinary girl from an ordinary town called Nazareth. Mary would have grown up learning about the Jewish scriptures, so she knew about the promise found in Isaiah 9 verse 6, which reads, a child will be born to us, a son will be given to us, he will rule over us, and he will be called Wonderful Advisor and Mighty God. He will also be called Father who lives forever and Prince who brings peace. Now Mary, she was engaged to a carpenter named Joseph. Mary and Joseph probably thought their life together would follow a pretty ordinary path, but one day everything changed. You see, God had a big plan for Mary's life. One day, Mary was all alone when something really amazing happened. An angel appeared to Mary saying, Greetings, Mary. The Lord has blessed you in a special way. He is with you. Wow, can you imagine how Mary must have felt at this point? I mean, she was just minding her business, living her ordinary life one day. Then an angel shows up. I'm thinking she was probably scared and a little confused. Now, when the angel saw this, he told Mary and he said, Do not be afraid, Mary. God is pleased with you. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son. You must call him Jesus and he will be great and will be called the son of the most high God. He will rule forever over his people. The angel told Mary some more amazing news about one of her relatives named Elizabeth. We can find out what he told her in the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 36. It says, your relative Elizabeth will have a child. Even though she is old, people thought she could not have children, but she has been pregnant for six months now. <laughs> wow, Elizabeth, <laughs> that's amazing. Now let's check out our Bible story video. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story the epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Luke, chapter one, verses 26 through 56. Mary lived in the tiny town of Nazareth, an ordinary village at the edge of Jewish lands. Nazareth, can anything good come from there? Mary herself was an ordinary girl. Oh, hello. She grew up learning the Jewish scriptures. A child will be born to us, a son will be given to us. He will rule over us, and he will be called Wonderful Advisor and Mighty God. When will this happen? Only God knows. It's been hundreds of years. Mary went to fetch water from the well and baked loaves of bread and swept out the hard packed earth floor. It's important to clean the dirt off the dirt. <laughs> she was also engaged to be married to a carpenter named Joseph. Mary must have expected that her life would follow a very ordinary path until one day when everything changed. Greetings, Mary. Suddenly, right there in the dim room, a brilliant being appeared. Mary probably dropped whatever she was holding, a broom, a batch of bread dough, a needle and thread. Who, me? The Lord has blessed you in a special way. He is with you. Mary blinked, trying to take it all in. The whole room glowed with light. I, I don't understand. Do not be afraid, Mary. God is very pleased with you. Mary couldn't find any words. In one heartbeat, her very ordinary day had flipped upside down. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son. You must call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High God. He will rule forever over his people. That kingdom will never end. The words of Isaiah may have echoed in Mary's head. A child will be born to us. A son will be given to us. He will rule over us. She finally found her voice. How can this happen? I'm not even married yet. The light flared even brighter. The Holy Spirit will make this happen. Your relative Elizabeth will have a child even though she is old. People thought she could not have children, but she has been pregnant for six months now. That's because what God says will always come true. 
Mary's heart pounded. Her cousin Elizabeth was old enough to be a grandmother, and if she was having a baby, anything could happen. I serve the Lord. May it happen to me just as you said it would. The light faded. The towering angel disappeared. Mary leaned against the wall to collect her thoughts. Elizabeth, I have to go see her. The journey to Elizabeth and Zechariah's home in the hill country of Judah would have taken many days of travel along dusty roads. Finally, Mary arrived. Why, it's Mary. Elizabeth, I have so much to tell you. As Mary spoke, Elizabeth could feel the child inside of her leap and kick for joy. God's Holy Spirit spoke to Elizabeth. God has blessed you more than other women, and blessed is the child you will have. As soon as I heard the sound of your voice, the baby inside of me jumped for joy. You are a woman God has blessed. You have believed that the Lord would keep his promises to you. Mary laughed and cried at the same time as she hugged her older cousin. God confirmed once again that Mary could find joy in the extraordinary plan God had for her. Now tell me your story. Mary stayed with Elizabeth for several weeks. She was so filled with joy, she poured out her heart in a song to God. My soul gives glory to the Lord. My spirit delights in God, my Savior. He has taken note of me, even though I'm not considered important. He shows his mercy to those who have respect for him. He has filled with good things those who are hungry. He has helped the people of Israel who serve him. He has done it just as he had promised to our people of long ago. At the end of three months, Mary returned home to Nazareth, ready to see how God's plan was about to unfold. Jesus was the savior God had promised so many years before. It was all a part of God's plan. And if we believe and put our faith in Jesus, we can have a relationship with God that will last forever. Mary was filled with joy because she understood that she would play an important role in God's story. God had a good plan for her life and he has a good plan for our lives too. So you can have joy because God has a plan for you. Joy comes from knowing that God has a plan for you. Even if things don't happen like you think they will, you can find joy in knowing that God loves you, He is with you, and He sent Jesus for you. Remember that this week, when things are going your way, and even when they don't, you can have joy because God has a plan for you. Now let's pray. Dear God, thank you for your amazing plan to send Jesus to be our Savior. You loved us so much for, and you sent your son Jesus to help us have joy. Thank you so much for this wonderful gift. We can trust you no matter what and have joy no matter what. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name, amen. Have a wonderful week, everyone. <laughs>